Apostle Suleiman proposed to me seven times and made me bleed after sexual intercourse. Alima Abubaka opens up on their affair with evidence. So guys, welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time here, please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification for you to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Nollywood actress Alima Abubaka has finally opened up on her affair with clergyman Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministry. The actress, who is clearly unbothered with the lawsuit filed against her by the clergyman, has taken to a recent interview to spill tea about their affair. So Alima revealed that Apostle Suleiman first reached out to her on phone to be his friend. They got talking for four months and he sent out 500,000 naira to show he was serious in his relationship with her. So the alien actress insisted that she never knew Suleiman was married as he told her that he was separated. Alima shockingly revealed that she pleaded with him on countless times to reconcile with his wife but he remained adamant. Alima claimed that Apostle Suleiman proposed to her seven times, but she rejected his proposal. Unbothered with the rejection, he involved the actress' parents in their affair and did an introduction with her. So according to her, she said, Apostle Suleiman first reached out to me on the phone to be his friend. We got talking for four months. One day, he wired me 500,000 naira to show he was serious and I saw him two weeks after that. I did not know he was married. He told me he was separated. I used to beg him to go and settle with his wife, but he said no. He proposed to me more than seven times. He involved my parents and met them for introduction. I never knew he was a pastor. Speaking on their sexual life, Arima revealed that she discovered that every time they had sex, she would always bleed, but since she wasn't spiritual, she didn't need meaning to eat. So according to her, she said, every time I had intercourse with Suleiman, I used to bleed afterwards. It got to a time I started bleeding every day and I had a bloated tummy. The blood never stopped and he was still having sex with me like that. I didn't read any minute to eat because I wasn't a spiritual person and he used to have sex with me during my period, so I thought it was normal. To prove herself, Alima shared old photos she took of the clergyman while in a hotel on Valentine's Day. Alima added that she had a tattoo of his name on her hand while their relationship was good and when she discovered he was married, he had calmed her down. So according to her, she said, I had a tattoo of Suleiman's name on my hand when the relationship was good. He never told me he was a pastor. He told me he was a motivational speaker and then a Sunday school teacher. When I later got to know, I asked him if he knew what we were doing was wrong. He said, I am human. This is coming as after Apostle Suleiman filed a lawsuit against her. The father of four had dragged actress Alima Abubakar to court for one billion naira over defamation of character. So the suit accused Alima Abubakar of publishing damaging, malicious and defamatory statements about Apostle Suleiman against his conduct. The ailing actress was also asked to make a retracting statement in some selected national newspaper. So according to report, the court case comes up 25th of March 2023. So in related gist, Alima Abubakar shares a medical report to the punk report of battling with autoimmune disease. Ailing actress Alima Abubakar has shared a medical report to debunk rumors of having an autoimmune disease. If you can remember that in December 2022, the actress was bedridden following her alteration with Apostle Suleiman. So, hinting at the cause of her illness, her family took to her Instagram story to call out the clergyman to stay away from her. So, according to the family, they said, Johnson Suleiman Imodu, if anything happened to her sister, you're going down. Following the side revelation, many had claimed that the actress was battling with an autoimmune disease. So, to prove them wrong, Alima took to her Instagram story to share her medical report. However, many claim that the report doesn't prove anything. So, she captioned it with, to those people that said I have an autoimmune disease, this is my hospital report. All the autoimmune tests and results, go look for you. 
so guys that will be all for now if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification for you to get notified whenever i drop a new video don't also forget to like this video drop your comment below share this video and i will see you in my next video bye bye